Hello and welcome. I'm Gloria McDonald, and today I'm going to share with you the results of the 2019 Network Marketing Industry Survey so far. So, I we've had 991 people respond to the survey, and my goal is to get to 2,000, so we're just under 1,000 people who have responded to the survey. There are respondents from 36 different countries, hang on one second, from 36 different countries, 67.38% um, of those are from the US, 11.94% are from the UK, 9.04% are from Canada, and 3.22% of the people who've responded to the survey are from Australia. And as I said, there are 36 countries overall represented. So let's dig into some of these stats, shall we? So 67.6% .6 of the respondents are female and 32.4% are male. No big surprise there at all, but just interesting to have those numbers. So by the way, these are very statistically valid numbers with the sample size of just under 1,000. In terms of ages, 1.8% uh, of people are in the age range of 18 to 24, 9.4% are 25 to 34, 19.7% are in the age range of 35 to 44, 26.8% are in the 45 to 54 age range, 26.4% are in the 55 to 64 percent age range. The 65 to 74 age range represents 13.3% of respondents, and we have people over 75, that represents 2.6% of the respondents. So. Interesting to know, over 50%, 53.2% of basically 1,000 network marketers who responded to this survey, which is a very good sample size, 53.2% are in the 45 to 64% age range. So this is where the bulk of network marketers are. Again, no big surprises there. Network marketing tends to skew a little bit older. So. Then I ask people how long they've been with their company. So zero to six months represented 21.72% of respondents. Seven to 12 months represented 13.59% of respondents. 13 months to two years represented 16.72% of respondents. Two to five years represented 26.41% of respondents. So, Five years and less represent 78.4% of network marketers. And then, people who've been with their company for five to 10 years represented 12.34%, and people who've been with their company for 10 years plus represented 9.22%. So people who've been with their company for over five years represents 26 point, uh, sorry, 21.6%. So the vast majority of network marketers, almost 80%, have been with their company for five years, really less than five years, say. Okay, the next question was, how many companies have you been with? This starts to get interesting. Just one company represented 34.12% of respondents. Two companies, 24.8%. Three companies, 16.7%. Four companies, 9.79%, and five or more companies, 14.53%. Interesting that five or more companies is a larger percentage of people than, than four companies. So get this, guys. 65.8% of network marketers have been with two or more network marketing companies. That's the vast majority. And, of course, in this 34.1%, we have no idea how many of those just found out about network marketing and maybe have only been in network marketing for a couple of months, so they might have plenty of time to get into this two plus range. So kind of interesting there. It, this, it pretty much shows you very clearly that network marketers do change companies. So how many people have you recruited into your network marketing business in the last 12 months? months. This is where the stuff gets really, really, really juicy. So zero. Haven't recruited anybody into their network marketing company in the last 12 months. That's almost 30% of people. 29.92%.
people who've recruited one to four people in the last 12 months is 34.11%, and people who've recruited five to 10 people represents 14.57%. So that is 78.1% of people who have recruited 10 or fewer people into their network marketing house. Now you might be looking at this and say, oh my gosh, I'd be ecstatic if I recruited five to 10 people into my network marketing company in the last 12 months. But here's what I can tell you, having been in the industry for over 40 years. If you're only recruiting five to 10 people into your network marketing company, you have more people falling out of the bottom of the funnel than coming in, and this is 99% of the time not a profitable business. Or if you're making money, you're making a very small amount of money. And when I say profitable, I mean you have to take all of your expenses, all of your expenses for all the product you buy, all the expenses for your travel to your company trips, all the expenses for all the courses and everything you buy, all the expenses for um, any advertising you might do, any networking events you might go to. You have to take all of those expenses out before you have a profit. And I'm all about helping people get profitable and actually making money after all their expenses. So I can pretty much guarantee you that nobody or a very, very, very small number of people in this group are actually making money. And if they are making money, they're making an itsy bitsy bitsy bit of money. With the rare exception of those people who've been with their company for a very, very, very long time, have a massive team and are now retiring and so they're not actively recruiting. And they still may have, and it depends upon your company's compensation plan, they may have residual com income coming in. But it all depends upon comp plans because comp plans are very different. And with a lot of companies, if you recruit somebody in and they get above you in terms of you know, the level, you're no longer earning any income from them. So it doesn't always work that if you recruit one superstar, you're going to be shot to the moon. Now, so then we look at the 21.9% of people who have recruited 11 to 20 people. So 8.6% of people have recruited 11 to 20 people into their business in the last 12 months. And people who've recruited 20 plus people into their business in the last 12 months is 13.33%. So this again is 21.9%. Now again, we don't know exactly what's in these numbers because, as you're probably aware, there are a bunch of companies out there that it doesn't cost any money to join and you're considered a recruit. And if that's what this number is, that doesn't mean you're making any money. If you're just signing people up without it costing them a dime, without them investing, without them making a commitment that they're going to build the business, these numbers could be absolutely worthless to you. So. Warning, we don't know exactly what that means. However, if you're truly recruiting 11 or 20 or more business builders in a year, this is where you start to get into having a real business that works. So th this would indicate that, you know, fewer than 20 or about 20% of people are actually have the potential to make a profit in their network marketing business. So, the next question was, how satisfied are you with your ability to recruit people into your business? Interesting question given those numbers, given the fact that 78% of people basically are not are recruiting under 10 people into their, their business in a year. So 25.2% said that they were very dissatisfied with their ability to recruit. 23.52% said they're somewhat dissatisfied. Now that's fascinating. Because if you're not making any money and you're recruiting, you know, anywhere from 10 or fewer people into your business and you're still not making any money, why would you be somewhat satisfied with your ability to recruit people? And 18.07% said they were neither satisfied nor dissatisfied. Interesting. 19.1% um, said they were somewhat satisfied. That I don't know, I'm assuming those are the people that are recruiting five to 10 people, but they're still not making any money, but at least they're recruiting people. And then 14.2% said that they were very satisfied with their ability to recruit people into their network marketing business. Now, 
This is where it gets even juicier, and I don't have these numbers out for you because here's the thing. If you have not yet completed the 2019 Network Marketing Industry Survey, I would love to give you this information in a quote-unquote report, and I will do that. But you have to have completed the 2019 Network Marketing Industry Survey. So I will give you a link if you're watching and you have not yet completed it. I will give you a link so that you can complete the survey. And then I will give you all of this information in a lovely little report. So uh, when I asked people, the next question after this was how much income from your network marketing business did you bring in in the last 12 months? Now this is income, this is not profit, but this is just you know revenue coming in. Listen to this. 67.2% of people brought in under $5,000 of revenue in the last 12 months. 67.2%. That's almost 70% of network marketers are bringing in under $5,000 in a year. And if you're bringing in under $5,000 in a year, then by the time you're paying for all the stuff that it's costing you to run your business, you're not making any money. 10.99% or 11% of people said they were bringing in five to $10,000. Now, you know, that might be okay for some people to just have a little bit of pocket change here and there, but I'm guessing most network marketers are not in it to make five to $10,000 a year. And that's not even making five to $10,000. That's just having revenue of five to $10,000. 6.37% said they brought in 10,001 to $25,000. Okay, a little bit better. 4.9% um, said they brought in $25,001 to $50,000. Better. 4.1% said they brought in $50,000 to $100,000. And so that's definitely better. Um, and 3.3% said they brought in $101,000 to $250,000 in the last 12 months, and 3.34% said they brought in over $250,000. So guys, they're only 6.7%, well not even, 6.3% of people are bringing in over $100,000 $100, or more a year. 6.3% are bringing in $100,000 or more a year. That's not very many people. That's a very low percentage of people. So then, fascinating, so we've got that number in our head. Only 6.3% have brought in $100,000 or more. So then the next question I asked people was, how satisfied are you with the amount of money you're making in your business? So you would assume that many people are quite dissatisfied, right? So only 38.34% said that they were very dissatisfied. 19.25% said that they were somewhat dissatisfied. 21.44% said they were neither satisfied nor dissatisfied. Okay, so those are all the people that really aren't that satisfied. 13.62% said they were somewhat satisfied. And 7.36% said they were very satisfied. So that kind of matches up with the number of the 6.3%. Remember, 6.3% are making over $100,000 or more a year, and 7.3% are very satisfied with the amount of money they're making. Okay, so now this is crazy. So remember, 6.3% are making $100,000 or more a year, and 7.3% are very satisfied with the, with the amount of money they're making. So that means a whole lot of people, in fact, 90, basically 93% of network marketers are not very satisfied with the amount of money they're making in their business. And then the next question I asked was, how excited are you about, the, about your future in this business? Nobody's very really satisfied with the amount of money they're making. Very, very, very small percent. However, 58.59% of people said they were very excited about their future in this business. That's almost 60% of people said they were very excited about their future in the business. Nobody's making any money, 
very small percentage of people are making any significant amount of money. But boy, are we excited about the future. Well, I guess that's good. I want people to be excited about the future, and I want people to actually be making money. 20.63% said they were somewhat excited. So now we have 79% um, of people, 79% of people are somewhat excited or very excited about the future in the business. Meanwhile, only 6.3% are making over $100,000 a year. 13.75% said they were neither satisfied nor just sad, or said they were neutral, they were neither excited nor uh, not excited. 4.22% um, said they were somewhat discouraged. And only 2.8% of people, only 2.8% of people said they were very discouraged. That's a little, that's like totally reverse of how much money people are making. So, I mean, it's great that people are excited about the future and let's get you moving towards actually making a profit. So, the last question I'm gonna share with you today is, I asked, what do you feel are your biggest challenges with your business? And by the way, the way I've got my camera set up, I can't see my computer screen. But please put your questions and your comments and I will respond to you, okay? Um, so, what do you feel are your biggest challenges with your business? And then check all that apply. So, this is interesting. There were two that were at 40 point. 71%, exact same percentage. Uh, and the first one was, I don't know where to find people to talk to about my business. 40.71% of people said, I don't know where to find people to talk to about my business. And 40.71% of people said, I'm not good at getting into action or having consistent action. Whoa, that's huge. Well, okay, if you don't know where to find prospects, and you're no good at getting into action or taking consistent action, how are you ever going to get from not making any money to making the six figures plus a year? Because I've spoken to hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of network marketers, and virtually 98% of people that I talk to want to be making $100,000 or more a year, that magic number of $10,000 a month. So, We've got to address these problems. We've got to address the problems that you don't know where to find prospects and that you're not good at getting into action. That is huge. Now, just underneath that, with 39.29% of people said, I'm not good at closing. Yikes, that's a problem. Basically, 40% of people said, I'm not good at closing. If you are not good at closing, even if you have a prospect, what on earth are you going to do with that prospect? No wonder people are not making significant amounts of money in this business. It's not because you can't. It's because we still, despite tons and tons of training, haven't figured out how to close sales, how to find prospects, and how to get into action and then take consistent action. 31.07% um, of people said, I don't know how to approach or talk to people about my business. 23.2% um, said, I don't have enough confidence. That's a challenge, obviously. And 16.96% of people said, I need more training. But let's address these problems. These are significant problems. So I'd love to hear your questions, your comments, and stay tuned because I am serious about solving these problems, especially the one of the two of not knowing how to get prospects. If you don't know how to get prospects and you don't know where to find people to talk to about your business, I can take care of that. No problem like that. LinkedIn is so powerful and 100% of my clients who are taking action are getting leads without paying any money for advertising on LinkedIn. 100% of my clients who are taking action are getting leads on LinkedIn for free. That is piece of cake, no brainer. The trickier one is getting into action and then consistent action. So if you know that that's one of your challenges, I'm going to invite you to take a really, really, really serious look at 
the Consistency Chain Coaching Program. I will put a link below and let me know if you want it and I'll make sure you get it if you're interested in really finding out how you can get out of this habit, this pattern of not taking consistent action. Just put a yes in the comments and I will make sure you get a link to have a free coaching session, a free strategy session to see if this consistency chain coaching program is something that would benefit you. Absolutely free, no commitment. So put a yes in the comments below if it's something that you're interested in. You can book a call with one of my coaches and you can get all the information and find out if this is the thing that will finally get you over the hurdle. Because the Consistency Chain Coaching Program is all about the 80-20 rule, which we have that in network marketing. In fact, it's even worse, because I told you, 6.3% of people are making $100,000 or more a year. So instead of the 80-20 rule, where 20% of the people make all of the money, we really have a 6% of people make all the money, and 94% of the people are not. So I want to shift that statistic and help move you out of that 94% if you're in that 94% and keep growing that 6% so it's 7% and 10% and 12% and 20% and more and more people are actually have the tools and the skills and know how to rewire their brains to be successful in this amazing business. So let me know if you're interested in that. And I will also put a link, if you have not taken the 2019 Network Marketing Industry Survey, I'll put a link in the comments below so you can take it, so you can get the report with all of these results. I hope you found that helpful. Take care, and I will see you again soon. Bye.